Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel and another video. Today's video is a long awaited, can't even believe I am saying this, Poundland haul. Not the one online, the one you get on the high street. Basically about, as you, if you're a regular on this channel and you haven't just like found this video, I live in the middle of nowhere, I am a country bumpkin, I travel to the city all the time, I'm not going to keep saying this because I say this in all my videos, but basically I live so far from the city, I am so used to travelling all the time to go to these shops, but then lockdowns happen, never in my life had I been stuck on an island, I live on the island of Sky, Google it, not being able to travel, so yeah, this is the first time I've ever found myself not being able to freely leave the island and go to my favourite shops, which I am so used to doing. Anyhow, we had a family emergency on Lou's side of the family. We had to go through to um, our local city. I say it's local, it's not really local, it's two and a half hours away, but it's the, the city closest to us. And go to the hospital and pick them up and take them home. Anyway, we did that. While we did that, we had a little bit of time to burn and I just said to Lou, let's hop, can I just head on into Home Baggins and Poundland while we're waiting, because it was right next to the hospital. And he was just like, yeah, go on, I'll sit and wait in the car. That is what I did. I was absolutely buzzing. So, I popped into Home Bargains, I filmed that video, it is up, I'll link it below, go and watch the Home Bargains video, but before you do that, let's see what I got in Poundland. I want to say firstly, um, I felt like it was kind of paused in time when I was in there, nothing had dramatically changed since March, I understand this, shops are going to be trying to sell, the shops that were closed throughout lockdown will be trying to sell on bits that they didn't sell in March, so I totally understand this, I still found a good few little bits that I wouldn't have been able to get if I hadn't been in Poundland, so let's get on, I will show you what I got, I got one big bag, um, and let's just have a little look, have a chin wag, grab yourself a cup of tea, grab yourself a diluting juice, or maybe it's the evening and you're watching this, get yourself a vino. Let's go. First thing I got in Poundland is wrapping paper. Now, anyone who's had a lockdown birthday, somebody in their household who has a birthday in lockdown, you will now know the pain that, oh my gosh, I couldn't get wrapping paper absolutely anywhere for Lou's birthday. This is my boyfriend's birthday, if you are not new, if you are new around here. Um, I couldn't get wrapping paper anywhere. I ended up having to spend 10 pounds on wrapping paper. Anyway, when I was in Poundland, I thought I'll pick up a roll of just some nice gold wrapping paper so that if I'm not able to travel, I think it's going to be another two weeks so I'm freely allowed to travel again in Scotland because they've still not lifted the ban on freely travelling everywhere. So it's going to be another couple of weeks until I get there, so I thought I'd pick up some gold wrapping paper just to have in. It's three metres and I just wished that I'd got this a few days earlier, basically. I then got some batteries because I've got this amazing Amazon haul coming up on my channel soon and I've bought some different fairy lights and neon lights and some of them are run by batteries. So I picked up some batteries because I just feel like the Kodak ones are really good and for a pound for so many, compared to like supermarket prices, you just can't go wrong with that. I then picked up some gorgeous lavender Epsom, Epsom salts. Um, if you haven't tried these, you need to try them. If you want a bath before you go to bed, anything to make you feel, if you're feeling anxious, the lavender Epsom salt baths are absolutely amazing. I just put like a few, about a few scoopfuls in my bath. It soothes your muscles, your aches and pains, and I'm honestly not joking. Um, it makes you feel so de-stressed and I really recommend it. So yeah, these Epsom salts are just lovely and they're a pound on Amazon. They're about six pounds and you get a tiny bit of a bigger bag, but really, if you buy two of these, you're kind of making up. It's just so much cheaper, about seven pounds on Amazon and a pound in home in Poundland. You know, you just can't go wrong. I then picked up a trusty dishmatic. It's just the best invention ever, isn't it? You don't have to put your hands in hot in water to do your dishes. You just scoop, scoop, scoop under the tap a little bit, done. Love these, and it's a black one. You know in the supermarkets they have like the green ones and orange, and I'm just like, no, I'm so far black, it is my vibe. Next thing I picked up, I don't really know why I picked this up, but then I do know why I picked up. Basically I've got a few fancy pants wine glasses that I've picked up on Amazon recently, which you will see in a haul coming soon. But I thought in the meantime, I need a wine glass because we're all in Scotland allowed to go to the Gardens for barbecues. I've never sat in people's gardens as much as I've been able to in the last two weeks. Let me tell you that. I've had barbie. I've had two barbecues. I've been in um, Lou's best friend, one of Lou's best friend's gardens. You know, never. This would not have happened if we were in this restriction situation. So anyway, I want a fancy pants wine glass I can take with me 
to the barbecues while we're having the barbecues and this is just really cool it's like got a thin it's just got like a thin it's all plastic and it just looks quite expensive i think from a distance they only did it in green and a gold color from what i could see in the picture but the gold one wasn't there it was more yellow but green i'm fine with that so pin my pinot grigio love it next thing i picked up is just another couple of packets of facial wipes because I haven't had these in so long and I'm not gonna lie I've found since lockdown I've actually found a new fave facial wipe dare I say it sorry Poundland um it's the Asda own one and they're just so hydrating and dare I say the word which I hate moist they're so moist but these ones uh, was my favourite before lockdown when I couldn't get to Poundland so I bought a couple of packets two for a pound so I thought oh well I'll just get them um and try them out again. Next thing I got is a couple of gift bags because if you don't go into a bag and to pick a couple of gift bags up or some kind of like, anyone else have a stockpile of like gift bags, cards, I'm seriously turning into an adult when you, when you admit this. I basically got a stockpile of cards, gift bags, things like that and I've just completely ran out of my storage over the last three months of being in lockdown and so I picked up another packet of these are one pound for two packets and they're just gorgeous basically just holographic you can give this to a man or a woman or anyone and I just think they're so versatile and it's good to have gift bags in so you'd have to go to the supermarket and spend four pounds on a gift bag no one wants to do that maybe not four pounds I hope but close enough next thing I got is an oven tray because Poundland oven trays are not bad, like you don't see me complaining. Um, really good oven trays. Our, our last two I got was at Christmas time. They're getting a bit old now for a pound, I don't actually mind. Um, so I thought, right, we need another one just to add to our collection of oven trays so we can bin some of the ones that have gone a bit dodgy. Um, so yeah, an oven tray, nothing exciting, but do check out if you're new to buying a house or new to moving into a house or you're moving at some point in the next little while and you want oven trays but don't want to spend an absolute fortune. Poundland oven trays are not too bad quality. I got a couple of cards in there. I love getting the cards in Poundland. They're really, really good. Um, and I just obviously add it to my card collection. Um, so I got this one here. That just It's like a... Oh, what's it called? Ombre, is it? Ombre? Ob... Basically, it goes from light to pink. When I fill edit this back, I'll be like... Harriet, do you know what that is? Do you know what I mean? The pattern, basically it's just a gorgeous print pattern. It goes from orange to pink. It's got gold happy birthday in the middle and I just think two, for 50p, you just can't go wrong. And then this one is just for more of a little girl. It says super happy days, happy birthday. It's all silver and holographic. It's got unicorns on it and looks so much more expensive than um, Poundland. And I just think cards are one of them things that you can put a nice message on them and as long as the front says something nice. You know, what I mean by that is in supermarkets they just charge so much for a card and I just think it's a complete rip-off. There's no need to charge too much for a birthday card as long as you put a nice message on the insi inside and the outside is pretty, then that's fine. So check out Poundland for birthday cards, honestly. They are so good. Now I have been off work for the last two weeks and I just thought to myself I'm going back tomorrow so if you know you know if you've been on my channel for a while you will know that I love a bling pen. Now I thought you know what let's give myself a little bit of a boost I'm going back to work tomorrow I want a bling delicious pen that no one's going to steal so I picked up this one it's bright pink with a gorgeous is it going to focus on that diamond tea? a gorgeous diamante in the middle and oh my gosh i just absolutely love it it's just light pink and yeah just nothing exciting about it but just really really like that and it's rose gold and at least if it gets stolen i will know it's my pen i'll be like excuse me that's my pen i work in the supermarket by the way and so you you know when people take your things it's my hair coming loose i'm wearing these space funds at the moment i really like the vibe of them purely because i feel like let me just clip that back I'm deciding if it's if it's like I should be able to wear these to work tomorrow. I don't know if they look unprofessional, but I really like space buns basically. <laughs> and I got this bling pen to go with it. I got another packet of batteries. I think they're a different size. The other ones were triple A's and these are the other ones were triple A's and these are double A's because maybe you'll need them for your controllers. I just love having batteries in. It's such an annoying thing when you don't have a pound land close to you and you run out of things like batteries. You've got to go and spend like four pounds more than that. Batteries are so expensive. So yeah another packet of batteries. Now I want to get better at bringing my lunches to work because I am not even going to lie to you guys, I am awful. We've got a hot food cabinet and I just dream of the macaroni and the pizza and the really unhealthy things on my lunch break at work which I shouldn't be doing bad at it to another level. So I thought if I buy some bling cutlery, which I'm just going to say that I am going to reuse this guy because it's plastic, um, it's a gold cutlery. 
So it's a 12 pack and I'm just going to reuse these, re wash them and reuse them. But I thought super extra cutlery, then surely to goodness that means that I am going to, you know, bring my lunch to work. And maybe I'll just have to buy an extra packed lunch box and then I've got two extra things that I just want to show off and then I want to bring a salad to work or sandwiches or something, yeah. Extra cutlery, but aren't they cute? Even for a party or something. Rose gold um, speckled plastic cutlery. Great for a barbecue. I've just bought so many sweets recently. I just, I feel like I've got a problem. I've got a problem. So now I've got some two bags of sweets. I've got these bumper pack sherbet straws. Who remembers sherbet straws from when they were a kid? And you used to get them all slivery, and then you couldn't get the, sli the sherbet out the bottom. I remember them. So they got them basically in Poundland, and I saw them. And I was like, oh, they're just like vintage sweets, don't they? They're just basically sherbet, um, sherbet sweets, um, sherbet straws, and I just thought for a hundred. And now you can, they're not made out of plastic anymore because obviously save the environment and all that. They're made out of paper so they rip the straw at the top and the sherbet comes out and I just remember loving these. Can you remember the long ones they used to do as well? My teeth are not going to thank me, like literally I need to stop eating sugary things. I've just turned into, I've always been a savoury person but at the moment I don't know what's come over me like I am seriously into sweet things. I then picked up some strawberry pencils, like Harriet, what is going on? Um, if you watch my own baggins haul, I bought so many sweets in that video too, so like, sorry teeth. I do brush you every night. So, and morning, obviously. Um, strawberry pencils, love these. The Haribo ones are just amazing, like, oh, love. Next thing I picked up is, a, do you know what? I've never seen this before, but it's a strawberry soap sponge. So, I'm assuming when it gets wet, it turns into a sponge. But I just thought it was something a bit different um, for the bath and it just says apply to wet skin, lather and rinse well. Basically it's just a bath bomb, I re not a bath bomb, basically it's just a bar of soap I think that turns into a sponge. So I'm going to put this in the bath, I'm actually having a bath after this video because I just want to have like, I'm calling I'm going back to work tomorrow after two weeks off, I want to have like a really nice pamper evening, get a really nice little bath going, light some candles and just wash my hair, just have a really chilled out evening. So that is what we're doing today. Um, so yeah, I've got this bar of soap and yeah. I'm excited to use it. I then bought some of this gift tissue because it's great for the gift bags to have this sort of stuff in that if you buy someone something you can just quickly pop it in the bottom, put some nice tissue, maybe some glitter on the top and it just makes a nice little gift to, um, just a nice little gift for someone. I think at the moment it's, it's been really important. I've been doing little acts of kindness with the lockdown, like buying people a bouquet of flowers from the supermarket. It doesn't have to be expensive, four or five pounds. Drop it off on their front doorstep with maybe some Maltesers or something. Um, but I just thought, Throughout the rest of lockdown, I'm definitely going to continue to do it and just maybe put some bits in a gift bag, a bit of tissue paper on top. It just makes people's day and it's just small acts of kindness that, you know, you don't know what's going on with people at the moment. Everyone's stuck in the house. I think it's really important to do something like that. So, yeah, I've got some gift tissue for some kind of little ideas I've got going on in my own little head over the next um, couple of weeks. And last but not least, Kirby Grips. So I got these Kirby Grips because um, I've just been loving, my hair's actually coming out tonight because I'm losing the, the clips. I've been loving designing my hair in this gorgeous like space bun kind of thing. I really like it and I think it's, the reason I like it is it because it hides, let's just hold the clip, so it hides the roots if you know what I mean. Like when it's all back the blonde's in the bun and the natural hair colour's going out to the bun so I feel like it's, I'm more my natural hair colour when it's up and I prefer that than to this awful like blonde yeah, I just don't like my hair down at the moment because of my roots, so it's okay. So I thought I'll buy some curvy grips, get my hair up in the space buns, and yeah, that's. I just thought it was. It would be. It would be good to get some curvy grips in because I haven't had them. I haven't been able to buy any from Primark obviously for like the last three months. So these were my favourite buy probably in Poundland. <laughs> random but small things but yeah guys that is everything my bag is empty that is everything i picked up in poundland i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i will definitely be able to get back to poundland soon because we've got two weeks left in scotland well fingers crossed until unlimited travel is allowed and we're allowed to travel to shops and things like that and yeah i'm really excited for that because i just cannot wait to take the camera with me and do a bit of a chilled out shopping come shop with me kind of theme video i've missed doing them so so much so if you want to see things like that in the next few weeks then please Give this video a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're a newbie around here and yeah, thank you so so much for watching this video and I will see you all real soon in my next video. I hope you're all keeping safe. Bye guys!